everybody how are we all doing today i do hope that you're all well and you've been enjoying following along with this project i'm hoping that we are going to finish up today um, and get this uh, exciting envelope journal completely done so we can move on to other things because i'm dying to get started with some of my christmas projects so without further ado i'm going to say a very warm welcome to all of you if you're new and of course, thank you for joining me, guys. Um, you've been with me uh, for a while now. Lovely to have you and see you as always. So we've done everything as far as the main pages are concerned. And what we want to do now is finish up with some of the outstanding bits. Um, so what I thought was um, talk you through how I put the other pages into the journals over here. So... Um, between this section over here, these two pages, um, not that middle spread, um, this section over here, and of course the very last one, I do put in my little um, tea stain pages. So what I do is I take um, four or five of these, um, I do a bit of stenciling on, on some of the pages, and I haven't done it on everything, I'm just giving you the gist of it all. Um, and I'm going to end up putting those, um, the set in each of these. So I think what I had was I was going to have a little booklet over there. Um, I'm going to have another one over here, as I said. And the very first full lot, which is between this lot over here. All right, so that's what we plan to do. So that's going to give us our completed journal. But then, of course, we've got a couple of other things that we want to put on. So um, what I did here was uh, it's just a case of stitching in some of these. So I'm going to show you how I do this one Um from the start to finish and stitch this in. I would suggest that you do your stenciling um, and anything else that you might want to do onto your booklet before you stick it in there. Um, so sew it in there, I should say. So anything you might want to do on the other pages, um, go right ahead and um, do that. And when you've finished with that, that's when you're going to sew it in there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I do that. The first thing I do is get some twine or some um, whatever your preferred thread is there's so many variants of it I get my cotton and I'm going to measure three times the length of your journal like that right let's just get that out the way and then um, thread that onto your needle so that's the first thing all right, so we've got our cotton on our needle like that. So we just put that to the side. And then what I do is I use a little piece of sponge. Um, and I use my pokey tool like that. And what we want to do is we want to get our little sponge underneath the spine of our journal where we're going to um, push that in like that. And then what I do is I just take my ruler. So let's just do it in the middle of this because this is the bit you're going to make the holes through. So this is ten and a half for the middle. And then what I do is I take a centimetre from the top there. I take a centimetre from the top there. And then I take the difference between the two, which is nine and a half, so four and, four and three quarters. Um, and that's the halfway mark between there and there. So it would be the same on this side. Um, four and three quarters. There we go. All right, so it's a centimetre from the top. You can do whatever measurement suits you best. Um, a centimetre there, a centimetre there. We've got the halfway mark over here. And the halfway mark between these two as well. Alright, so now what you want to do is, 
um, this is slightly smaller than my envelope and that's fine I was happy with that what we want to do now is um, we're going to gauge the, the same distance on that side and that side and then I'm going to just use my little clips so I've got you can use whatever you have so you want to push your pages into the actual fold line there of your spine making sure you've got an even amount on each side and then we're going to adjust it doesn't going to quite get it but it will with these um, on that side and then the same on the other side so like that just going to keep those pages in place then I just lift it up onto there take my pokey tool I'm just going to get that up a bit as well and then I'm going to just push that through the little marks that I've made so it's as simple as that Okay, and then the last one like that okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our needle and thread um, I tend to just tuck this under one of these little um, sections I'm trying to grip the back of the clip <laughs> all fingers and thumbs here um, so I just tuck this underneath one of these just to grip it and hold it so it's not gonna it's gonna be tight and then I just thread it through the middle so we're gonna do five pamphlet stitch which I'm sure you all know um, but if you don't then uh, you can watch along so I go through there come through on the other side and then this is where it gets tricky <laughs> Just feeling my way here. Push that through there. Okay. Now, when you don't find the hole, unthread it, push your needle through like that, and that's an easier way to do this. And then just thread your needle again. Which is hard when you know you're at a funny angle here like that pull that through yeah then go through the top one like that sorry and then back through this one like that then miss one in the middle go to the next one like that to the top one you're going to go come out from that side again this is often easier to do it with your needle going through like that but you don't want to make a hole or punch um, something further so I like to do it like this then I'm happier with the outcome all right so not long now so we're going to thread it through there again so you can see they're all match up and then again I'm going to thread my needle through and just getting a better angle here there we go we've just got to be patient and there we've got it through there we can we get rid of those clips All right, so we've got that in place now. Pull it nice and tight. Um, just check that these are all tight. And then tie two knots in the middle. Like that. I usually bring it down to just before the end. And trim those off like that. Okay. 
So now that's in place and not going to move. And I like how that locks. Okay, so if we look at the back now, you can see we've got a nice little straight line there. Okay. So there's the first one. So what I'm going to do quickly is speed up the camera. I'm not going to put it in this one. I'm going to put another one in here. And so another one in here. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. And I will see you as soon as I've done that. Okay, so I have now sewn in my first little signature over here, which has worked out really well. And then I have so missed that one, as I said, um, sewn in my signature over here. And then the very last one I have sewn in over here at the back. Okay, so that's all done. And you can see at the back here, I've got a nice, neat, um, just, I just stuck that down a little bit. Um, just my rows of stitching at the back over there. So that's all looking lovely. I'm happy with that. Now, what we want to do is we want to put in our last few bits of um, ephemera. So we have this envelope now that we have already completed and that's that little piece over there. All I did was I've taken this, which is from that one of the Ruby and Pearl kits. I think it's Fleur. Um, it's just a, a square like this on the page when you print it out. I have just stitched some music paper on each side there like that. Stitched around it and put on a little um, Amity Bloom label. Um, and this is ready to put in some pieces of ephemera. I just use it as a tuck spot and tuck it behind there. So that's what I've done with that piece. Um, and I didn't do anything else on there. Um, on the back of this, I left it plain. Um, I didn't do anything there. You're quite entitled to decorate the pages however you want. So if you have a look over here, I've got the odd bit of um, page decoration. I've carried on with the stenciling here and there. Put some stenciling, um, put on some little banners onto the middle of my signature and some more stenciling little labels and things throughout okay so I'm not going to worry with that um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I put the next bit together so I'm going to just move that over there all right so that's our first signature and you can carry on decorating that with stencils etc you know how to do that now for our second signature over here what I did was I took my um, fabulous flip out tutorial, as I mentioned in the last one. So the completed article like that, which I love. It's got its little pockets. It's got its little um, flap um, and a little tuck spot flap there with your tag um, at the back over here like that. So if you want to see how to make that, um, go and follow the fabulous um, flip out tutorial that's part of this exciting envelope journal tutorials and all of these little bags and tags and everything that I made in here is to be found in this video all right um, along with some other videos I've put in there so everything every video that I've used to create this uh, little pieces of ephemera obviously is in there as well now this goes and sticks right here now what we do is we're going to stick some glue along there and just a little bit either side there. That's going to be a little tuck spot for us and I'm going to show you what I put in over there. All right, so it's as simple as that. We're just going to pick this up. We are going to run some glue along the bottom there. Then I just did it up to that first little um, scallop and then I'm going to move this over like that and I'm going to just see where exactly I want it I think about there so I'm just gauging it um, to be even at the bottom here then I'm going to just lift that up and I'm going to run my finger over that section there okay so you've got 
your pocket, your flip out with all the pockets nicely attached. Um, and this little area over here, I'm just going to put in one of my little cards that I made. And this is um, Winsome from Waste. I'll show you how to make all, use all your scraps and make all of these. So that I'm going to just tuck in um, over here um, like that. And yeah, I was quite happy with that. Um, sorry, I've just got a little card. This is from my own um, blue and green ephemera kit. So I'm just going to stick in a, a little card just behind there, or you can move that up there and that down there, however you want to do it. So that's going to go over there like that. Um, I have the templates to make um, all of this as well in my shop. So that will also be down there as well. So let's just find a way that we want to display this. I think I'm just going to put it straight out like that really. And that will go like that. Okay, so then on the, as I said, do what you want with the rest of the pages. I'm just showing you my main ephemera pieces that I used. And then what I did was on the back here, um, I made a little scrap of an envelope I cut off because it was too wide. So I've got all of these again in my Winsome from Waste tutorial. And I quite liked it because I decorated them up and I'll show you how I do that. Um, and that is going to go at the back here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this all down at the back. So just like that. And this is the fun episode because it all comes together here. And we're able to see everything um, all work together, which is the fun part for me. That's my favorite bit. Okay, and then what I did was I've taken one of the cards from the Ruby and Pearl kit. I've put it onto recycled packaging there. Um, and that's going to now be a little tuck spot for that. Then I've made um, another Winsome from Waste, another tag from scraps that I had. That's going to go in over there. And then I've just got a little card that was part of my stash. Um, and I've put that in there. So that's a little pocket just over there. Okay, so we've got that one done. And then... This one at the back here, um, what I did there was I made a little envelope again. I'll show you how to do this from scraps. I've got um, book pages and scraps that I've used. It's a lovely little book um, envelope I've made, double paged here, nice thick paper. So I've used two. Again, just using up the scraps from this kit, little piece of sari. I'm going to stick that down just over here like that. But of course, only on the three sides, so we can use it as a pocket. So I'm going to do that on the back. Now, this is a great project because what I like about this project, and I've got a lump in my glue, is the fact that you can use up all the little scraps that you've accumulated um, while making this. I'm not going to fight with that. We're going to turn to the easier glue here. Don't know why I've obviously got a little dried bit or something caught up in that. So just use the next available one, which is this. Um, I'm just going to give that a good glue on the three sides. And then a case of just moving that over. I don't want to do close there to bulk up the fold line so we're just going to hold it down a bit like that and you can tuck some goodies in there and then what I did was I made myself a little tag again um, like that just again win some from waste tags using all the scrap little bits so that's going to go in over there and that one is just another one again lots of scraps that i had from this project and i have just tucked that one in there like that so that's what i did on that page um and then as i said you can go on and stencil you should really do that before it's easier in my opinion um so when we come to the very back page we are looking at just one more thing to do so 
the one I did here. Still following on scraps of envelopes and pieces that I had. I used some gesso. This can be found as well on my Winsome from Waste video. Show you exactly how I did this. It's just an envelope I chopped off that was too big for a different project. Um, and so I'm going to use that flap there. So let's just grip that. And I'm going to, you can do either side. The other one I did the other way. So just going to glue that bit over there like that and I'm going to find a spot just over there I'm just making sure I've got it straight I'll just wipe that glue off because I don't want that sticking to the other side of the page so we just hold that down there for a minute I love how the stenciling all works together and you can use different colours and oh, I just do love stenciling. You can do all sorts. You can add gesso on these pages. You can use stamping. Um, I mean, it's endless. So, you know, it's up to you. Then again, using scraps and this is one of my um, beautiful aqua um, invoices that I had that's from... Um, the 1800s, 1890s, and I just love the aquas and the way it blends into the lovely browns. Um, so that's on my blue, ephem blue and green ephemera pack. And I had a piece of that, so that I've stuck in there with this lovely colour ribbon. And then I've just grabbed one of my um, Amity Bloom little botanical cards as well and slid that in there just for some alternate contrast in colour. So that's what we've got over here and I can't have that because it looks horrible so of course that's got to come off okay so that's everything there so we are pretty much done we've got our ephemera in there we've got everything in place and our ephemera all in that particular envelope 29 that's all got its ephemera what we need to do now is put in some ephemera here so I have cut out a load of ephemera um, this is from my own kit these ones here this is from um, the ruby and pearl kit um, I love that mushroom that's from my own kit so it's just a case of finding um, some goodies to go into the various places so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this one um, into this over here that's from ruby and pearl um, and then this is from my kit and I love that and I'm going to put that in there and um, I just wanted something that's going to work with all of that so I'm just looking and I think I'm probably going to look for something more blue so I'm going to just slide that in um, behind over there so there we go that's what I'm going to put on that side then on this side over here um, what I did there was I was just going to where's that blue that one I thought that would be a good one to go in here um, and of course we can put in this is also from the ruby and pearl kit both of these are like that I think I'm going to actually turn that one around I'm going to put that one like this with some greens and then let's bring in just going through them got this little one with the pansies thought I'd um, put that in there as well so just have a little bit of that flower sticking out um, one more one more I think I will put in the little eggs this is from one of my kits again so that can just go in there like that that can move down that can move up so we've got some different colors going in there right um we needed to put some stuff no that was all that i had in there that's all filled in nicely over there so that's fine um just got the back page to sort out now so we can open that up i'm going to put in this which is from my own kit my blue and green kit so bringing in some blue here because there's a lot of green 
um, I'm going to stick in this. This is one of my favourite pictures from my kit. I love these butterflies. They're from an 1890s postcard, which I bought, which I love. Um, so I'm going to stick that in there because I just love that. Um, of course, I love these mushrooms. I love this as well. Absolutely stunning. So I think I'm going to just have the mushroom peeking out on one side. Um, and then I put an invoice in here, which is this one from my own kit. And as I said, I love the way it blends. This is, as you can see, from 1893. So, and I love it because it's from Birmingham, which is not far from me. So that's a, um, invoices that I bought myself. And I'm going to just stick those behind there. And this can go up like that. So we've got some nice ephemera pieces there. And then all that I need to do... And then we're done. Look how chunky it's getting. I can't help myself, can I? It's just pick a couple of pieces um, to go into our little like um, banknote wallet kind of thing. So I've got these two pieces I'm going to put in there. Um, and of course, anything else that you might have. So these are the bits that are remaining. So I've got the floral arrangement thingy. This is one of the postcard pieces from my kit, and I think I'll use that. Um, I've used that already, so I'm going to go with the, um, those two, really. Love a postcard. Can't go wrong with that. So I'll just put those in there as well. So let's just grip that in there. I like a bit of a postmark sticking through. Okay, so that's going to tuck in there. We can have a little quick flip through here. So that's our front. Um, that's the inside. That's our little thing that fits under the tuck spot. We've got lots of writing space here. Um, this is our little flip out, like that. Um, let's put this in here as well. Move that up a bit. Tuck this one in as well. There we go picks up that nicely I think so we close that we've got our tuck spot with things that go in there um, we've got our beautiful center spread over here with all of that in I love that and these two as well um, then on this side we've got all our ephemera going on over there so I quite like that and we've got our little fabulous flip out with loads of goodies in there. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to decorate those up. So I've got my little tuck spot here with a little flower peeking through. And of course, um, we've got our beautiful butterfly and some other bits of ephemera in there. We've got our trifold, which is um, exciting envelope 29 with all of those bits as well. And these flip independently. We've got loads of ephemera all in there. So we've got that going on. So that can just tuck back under there. Like that. Then we've got our little envelope that we've made. And all of this is made from scraps. Beautiful pieces made from scraps. More pages. And on our back page, we've got a little flip out there with our little pieces and our tag. Again, that's made from scrappy bits. We've got our little bits and pieces tucked in there. We've got our little tag over there, or journal card, I should say. And that flips out. We've got a beautiful image there and gorgeous pieces of ephemera in there. And that's our journal finished. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So all that remains to do now is tie a, a bow right around it, which I will try and do. OK, so let's just see here. I've got some um, sari ribbon. And it's just a case of winding that around. Like that. And then, of course tying the ribbon as you want it over there like that and there we have our journal all right so there we go ladies i hope that you've enjoyed it we've got that one and this is the one i had made previously so we've got both of them 
uh, there. I hope you've enjoyed following along with, with this little project. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I am looking forward to doing some other things now. So I'm going to probably start and put together a lovely Christmas little project quickly. Um, and share that with you in my next video. So thank you so much. I do hope that you've enjoyed following along and having fun with me. It's been amazing. Um, so I hope you've picked up a couple of bits of ins inspiration along the way. And maybe a tip or two as well. All right. So thank you so much thanks for all the comments and the wonderful things you've been saying every day every time i posted one of these so amazing of you um, and i look forward to seeing you all very soon in our um, next little project and video bye bye